All right, so now we're gonna design the R stores page that the Flatsome theme and the demo came with. This could be like your locations or where your stores are located. Um, in any case, it's a really great page to feature in your nav menu. And it looks really professional with these social icons and then the different map tabs down here. So you can never give people enough ways of contacting you and this is just another way. If your site doesn't look like this one quite yet, then feel free to visit our entire online store e-commerce website tutorial for 2017, where you'll learn how to set up all these features you see right here on your screen and mine. All right, so let's hover at the top where it says edit page. Now let's jump right to the edit with UX builder. And for starters, we're going to give that header area a background image. So we can just click anywhere on the blue. And then in background, just click remove and you'll get rid of that blue section and then select media. And now just go ahead and choose a background image that you found on Pixabay or maybe somewhere else along, around the web. Use this image and that should fill in nicely. All right, so if you have white text, you're gonna want a darker image. And if you have uh, dark text, you're gonna want a lighter image with some sky or some you know, blank space that the text can stand out on. You can also put an overlay on it, so at any time you can make it a different tint, which will help your text stand out. All right, to change the R stores text, just click on top and then you can go ahead and modify it if you want. All right, and that will auto capitalize and click apply and update. Now we can modify our social icons, which nicely highlight to the right color. That's always a sign that the theme developers really worked hard for you, that they managed to get the Twitter color right and the Pinterest color and the Google plus color and so on and so forth. So to change these, you can click them. We don't want to share them quite yet, but you can just click the box and then you can Oh, it's going to work. We don't want to do that. So let's see if we can change these icons right here. I'm not sure we can. Let's go back and let's click on the share icons gear options. All right, so it's not going to let us change the social icons right here. That's fine though. We'll do that once this page is done. So let's change up our header text right now. Scroll down and you can go ahead and write whatever you want about your stores, your locations. and if it's not very much text you might want to go ahead and center it open text editor select all and center okay now to change up the fun part the map <clears throat> the map let's start by clicking on one of these tabs like New York all right so we can easily just change up the name given that it's just a title all right so that's pretty cool. But how do we get the map to change when we click on each tab? To do that, we're gonna to have to go back. And we can see that within this pancake stack, we have the tabs and then the tab panels, which are the titles of the cities. And then, which, and then within each tab panel, we have a map itself. So that's where we wanna actually change the locations. All right, so that's pretty cool. So to change the location for London, because New York City is already correct, we can just open up London and click on the gear for its map and click options. And now we're gonna grab an address in London. So we can get the London YouTube space. All right, so maybe you'll find us there. Let's open it up, click share, and let's grab those coordinates from this link. So we're gonna grab the longitude first, which is 51 point blah, blah, blah. and come back and let's double click on latitude. Again, that's a little bit tricky. You just have to highlight the whole latitude somehow. 
double clicking there worked and paste now we'll get the latitude after the comma copy that and come back and so you have to kind of drag over and edit the longitude or the latitude a little bit and then you can double click to highlight and right click paste over perfect so let's apply and update and we're going to click on London and we can see that I've changed that address up for London now here we are on Pancras Road where you would find our YouTube Space London. Great. If we click New York City, we go back to Central Park right here. All right, so that is how you can change up the location for each of these tabs. And for example, if we want to change New York City to be more precise, we just go to YouTube Space Manhattan, share. And then you can just do the same thing with the coordinates. So copy the longitude. And remember, you have to go back to the stack of pancakes and click on the proper tab panel and then click on its map gear options. All right, so that's how you do that. And once you get the hang of uh, highlighting and changing these latitudes, it'll become a lot easier. So it takes a little bit of practice, but you can do it. I know you can. And now we're going to get that latitude. All right. Longitude, actually, I keep mixing them up. Just have to drag over it once, and then it'll give you the highlighting abilities and paste. And perfect. And apply and update. We also have this built-in option to enter a street address or any other information you want. So you can just click on that text, it's super easy, and write in any information you want. Apply, update, and then click London, click there. Just keep those P brackets in there so the font stays the same. And you can write in anything about your location or an invitation to visit, maybe a phone number or just some helpful information for your visitors and update. All right, now let's go ahead and edit those social icons to finish up our, our stores page. Make sure to update. And we can go ahead and fill in Oslo and Stockholm later. All right, so we're just going to X out. And we're going to try to find where these social icons live. Let's go to the dashboard close up all our other uh, links at the top and let's click on blocks I think it might be a block it's not a block what do you know all right and with a little digging around what I've realized are that our share icons are actually just a part of UX builder they don't need any editing because they're just meant to share the page you're on so that's why it just says share in brackets and if we go to UX builder then I guarantee you we're going to find that that share is just one of the many different pieces of content that we can add anywhere in the UX builder. So if we click plus below share icons and we search for share, then we can see there they are. All right. So if you ever remove them, you can just re add them or you can put them somewhere else on the site. Pretty simple. You can just drag it around or add it to a different row or wherever you like. Don't need two of them though, and we don't need to edit the icons again because they just share the current page right to whichever location someone clicks. That's pretty cool. That's how these share icons work. Have fun with those and have fun now that you know how to create a custom R Stores page using Flatsum. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. Make sure to rate the video and post your questions in the comments. I'll talk to you soon.